So, in our effort to hit all 47 of the South Carolina state parks, while well, there still are only 47. <laughs> Before it grows. Um, we booked a weekend at Barnwell State Park. It's the last weekend in February. Although it hasn't really felt like it until this morning. No, it's a little chilly this morning, but it's still not even like February chilly. No, it's a, it was a beautiful weekend here at this quiet little park. Uh, we kind of relaxed a little bit. We didn't do a, yeah. a whole lot. Um, it was a good trip though. I, yeah, it was nice. So we'll, uh, we'll show you all about it, show you around the park and the campsites and a couple things that we did do while we were here. Barnwell State Park is one of the 16 South Carolina parks that was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps during the Great Depression. Which has a special place in my heart. Yeah, so um, it, it's kind of a remote park. There's not a whole lot around here. Yeah, you're not going to stumble upon it. No. It's not a pass through like, I'm on 95 and no, need uh, a place to stay. Barnwell County is a, is a fairly um, low population county, just a few folks. But it's a great place to just get away for a quiet weekend. And it was, and the, the park itself is actually really nice. Like there's, it meets a lot of small parks like this in kind of remoter areas of South Carolina are really focused on day use or community use. So it's got a really nice community center. Actually in a month or so, they're gonna start like a movie series where you come and bring your own snacks and watch a movie with your family, family movies. Um, and the one coming up is like a bug's life so animated kind of things but there's also like there's a swimming area yeah, there's, there's a swimming area by the by the park store um, nice big bath houses fishing fishing pier to go fishing um, it's one of the things this park is, is known for is their ponds are stocked very well with fish um, and so. that we saw several big herons fishing so that yeah. usually to me attests that there are fish when there's animals that have migrated <laughs> so. The, uh, the campground itself is fairly small. There's 25 sites. Um, a handful of them are full hookups. Ours was. We'll take a brief pause here and I'll, I'll kind of give you a walk around and show you not only our site, but I also did a couple that were unoccupied so you can kind of see what the other ones look like too. All right, we'll talk about our site 23 here at Barnwell State Park. This is one of the I don't know, 10 sites or so that have been recently remodeled that also have full hookups and 50 amps. You can see it's been re, I guess you say surfaced. Uh, it's packed sand, pack, I mean packed gravel. It is surprisingly unlevel for being a fairly new redo. There's plenty of space, there's plenty deep. See back here we have plenty of room behind us. But as we come, look right here, I am at the top of my Anderson levels. So it was, it surprised me how um, unlevel it was. You see neighbors right there. This is the last week in February, so a number of these are sitting empty. This is normally cold here. It has been stunningly beautiful. All in all, it's not a bad sight better than the other ones that are not remodeled. Okay, yeah, this is site eight. I just want to kind of give a comparison of what the other sites look like. This is 30 amp, no full hookup. You see this is more of a sand rather than the packed gravel. There's no uh, timbers around, although it is surprisingly level. Not quite as deep, but a little bit wider. Again, this is site eight. This is site 14. Just wanted to kind of point out, this one's a little bit different. In fact, that it's got raised timbers, but it's behind where you, if you had a camper, your hookups are there. Back here is your raised up area. You see the neighbor, they have a tent. So, um, just a little different. Um, I think the only knock on 
well like the sites that the end sites that they have renovated are nice they've got the timbers they're very level um well kind of well yeah <laughs> we got a little far yeah, they, over they, they, they might look, be more level they than... look level at first until you put yeah. a level on it but yeah um but they're they're flat they're not yeah. rocky they're the kind of that sandy but not just solid sand kind of sand yeah. gravel gravel yeah so it's not you know tracking in quite as much um just debris and then but they also have um little, like there's a a nice big fire pit big fire pit for community folks to gather next to the and, bathhouse i mean nice big benches and a, a concreted rock yeah. ring um there are several places where there's like games there's horseshoes there's and horseshoes. there's like ring toss yep. um you know where you throw the ring onto the hook um so i mean it's just a neat little park there's some yeah, nice things. now i will there are a couple issues um we're not gonna try and sugarcoat the road is awful the road, the road is in really to bad the shape. campsite. Yeah. When you come in, you veer off campsite one way. The road is awful. Yeah. <laughs> you veer off the other way to the community, to the day you side, and it's well, it's fairly new. Yeah. So that's true. You can tell that that's. I mean, they're more. It's a smaller park, yeah. 25 sites, in a remote area. It's way more focused on the, the day use. There are some cabins, and the cabins there's are five, more on yep, that. There's five cabins out past the. Um, uh, the community building uh, we don't go down to the cabins but um it looks like they're probably right on the pond so they're really pretty view more than likely two bedrooms one bath yeah. um we so, saw one from a distance it looks like it's kind of a almost like a like little, little octagon uh, yeah so um, kind of fun kind of different. yeah the um the other kind of complaint that i'll have now we have full hookups so we don't need to use the dump station the dump station looks awkward well and we were told by somebody that came that was talking about what's your next trip and we said barn mole and he said you got full hookup you might want to have full hookup it's awkward and it looks just a little it looks like the way that your tow vehicle go, is going to be going downhill the whole thing is you come up a hill to make the circuit so you're going down a hill to leave yeah it just and it, you look like you're going to be like you're going to be kind of fighting that yeah, and, he said it was a struggle yeah, it's, yeah i can i can see that um at one point, I watched another video before we came, and somebody said when they came, the dump station wasn't even operable, so they wanted you to come over and dump at one of the, the full hookup sites, so just back in, so uh, just know that. Um, the other thing about the the sites here is there's really none for larger rigs. Uh, the, the largest one that they say they can accommodate is 36 feet, so if you've got like a 42-foot or 45-foot fifth wheel, uh, you're just not going to fit in here. Um, it's really meant for the smaller and the second little loop is even smaller those yeah, are really those are, those are really small sites. we saw like more tent campers and van yep. or like the jeep conversion where the tents at the back of the, yeah. the jeep and stuff like that up in there the other kind of it's not unique because they they also have it at like lee state park but it's a self check-in um, if you're gonna you can stop by just for one day uh, as long as a site's not occupied there's a little kiosk you put your money in an envelope say what sites you're at drop the money in and, and you can take care of yourself so the other and i don't know if it's just our timing here the other thing that, that's a little bit well this is the first time i think i've ever seen there's not a camp post at the moment yeah i don't remember being anywhere where yeah, there wasn't one i don't really know, you know why or what the situation is but it made me realize how valuable camp post can be because it is a smaller park because i mean it's one of the ranger stores only open 11 to noon and four to five and they're spread thin with yeah so the rangers have a lot to do so since they don't have a host when we got here i noticed that the fire pit had some ashes that had kind of built up one thing i will say they are doing a great job keeping the bathhouse clean now while it's an older bathhouse it was it very was, clean it was very very clean i was impressed with how clean it was so the rangers are doing a great job doing keeping that up the staff that we've interacted here with have been amazing yeah uh, fantastic really, staff even though it's a smaller camp ground and it's one of the smallest because it's only 307 yep, acres true. it may be the smallest it's on the goose chase is a small one um but everybody we've interacted with has that's been true. really nice the like, neighbors the neighbors up have been fantastic we have yeah two doors down they like took our kids for half the afternoon playing with their dog we had some um community group uh part, yeah, part of the facebook yeah a couple facebook groups that i'm in we, with blackstone um cooking recipes and uh, the gray wolf dbh group uh, they happened to see that we were here we 
they came down and chatted with and us for a while. And brought us some amazing homemade guacamole that actually went <laughs> dovetailed into what he was cooking. So yeah. that was perfect. And and it was our kids' first time with guacamole. And Clara about wiped it out before she we did. even got to dinner. <laughs> and at dinner, she's like, I'm not super hungry. I'm like, oh, well, I wonder why. Because you, like, devour the ladies' guacamole. So that was super cool. The ranger has been really great. She brought us our firewood from the station. Yeah, that's, that's another. Because there's not a camp post. You gotta coordinate with the ranger to bring it. I, bring you bet, the fire I wonder if there is normally a camp post. If uh, that's what that I some of what they. Uh, I if suspect they, that normally the firewood is kept there that you reach at like, the camp post. Like um, Aiken was. Yeah. I, I and I know that it. state parks are, are not hurting for, but they're always have opportunity for set yeah. for hosts. Yes. I mean, I know several parks have multiple hosts. Yep. Um, even so. Yeah, it just it, it just cemented so, to me this morning as I was thinking about it how valuable those hosts are so well and just connecting with yeah. the people i mean the yeah. guy at aiken came and hung out with us and you know was helpful in finding helping us do stuff that's true so while we were here uh, as we were coming in we happened to notice a very large flea market so big i mean um, like flea... you just went on like as far as you could see it just kept going so um we went we decided to go back saturday morning and just see what it was about well mainly because there wasn't and there's, there's not, not a lot, lot to do in this part of the world right so. now i would say we have a, a video coming or, or out about Eudora Farms. Yeah, we've, no. we've already probably had that one out. I'll, I'll put a link right so there. So this would be a fine one to yep. stay at if you'd rather stay here than Aiken. It's yeah. pretty much in the middle. And we'd already done some of the other state historical sites that are near here. So we could have Rivers, done yeah, Battle of River Battle Bridge. Of the Ridge Bridge. We could have done Red Cliff. So if you yeah. haven't done those, that's a good. Yeah. this is a good place to be to, to springboard yeah. on those. They're just ones that we, it's just, yeah. we're getting to the end of the 47. So this was Springfield uh, Flea Market. Mar the oldest. Marketed as the oldest, oldest flea market, market in South Carolina. Yeah. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, we're not really flea market people, so we didn't really know much about it. But apparently you got to get there early. Yeah, 1030. <laughs> yeah, we got there 1030. They were. They're packing up and heading Many out. people were like, all right, we're done. We're packing up. And so Sam Henry missed out on. And um, what we should remember about that, and, and we knew really is, if you see something you like, you probably right. should go ahead and get it because yeah. he was thinking on it and he, you know, they had their own little spending money and he was thinking on it. And when we cycled back, the guy was like, yeah, I, put it up. I put it up and he was still packing up, but he was like, it's too deep. Come back next Saturday or come back Monday. We're like, we don't live here. And, yeah, we're not um, but the, um, yeah, it's February. So I, I think that it was probably not as busy as it could be. Yeah. Also, I don't know that flea markets are quite as popular as they used to be. Um, Especially with Dollar Generals. Yeah, and so, but there was all kinds of weird stuff there. Well, there was some weird stuff. There was some weird stuff. <laughs> some, but, you know, there's, there's some artists selling, um, they're not artists, but um, woodworkers that had some yeah. some outdoor furniture axe swings. and, and stuff. Yep, yeah, axe handles. The, yeah. And there was some, like, household goods stuff. Like, I got some vases. There was an, another older gentleman that was kind of in the back. In, in, he in must, Inside the building. And he just had... Time. A ton of stuff that I mean, cast covered iron, in, yep, cast, he had cast iron, iron. He had books. He had vases and lots and lots of mason bottles. Jars and, and, yeah. um, I bought an old timey bottle. Um, Probably a medicine bottle more than likely. Some kind of medicine bottle. I mean, it's he said it was from the. It's, I looked up. He told me the what the. But he knew his stuff. He, I mean, he was old and he was hard to hear and he was hard to understand. But he knew exactly what kind of yeah. bottle that mark was and exactly so, what kind where it came from and. That's about 10 miles north of Blackville. Blackville is, so is, is you know, right here, so it's, it's not far. But you could have bought anything from some new socks to some old clothes to some new shoes to some furniture. There was a pink bicycle that caught Clara's eye that she was, <laughs> you know, mm, so, really excited about. So it was an adventure, and that's what we try to do. This is, what, this is what's here. Let's check it out. Let's See, check let's it embrace out. embrace it. Yeah. So, on the way back, uh, we hit probably what Blackville is most famous for, and that's God's Acre Healing Springs. Um, Interesting little spot. Uh, it's uh, springs that was discovered by the Indians uh, during the Revolutionary War. Um, it's when they probably knew about it way before that. Yeah, we don't know they, how long the Indians knew, but they. It was. They it was kind of. It was kind of brought about uh, because there was four Union soldiers. Oh, not Union. Um, British soldiers that were injured and, and so badly, uh, in such bad shape. They kind of got were, left behind with two left, other they people. They were left behind with two other people whose job it was to bury them when they died. And the Indians saw them and they helped them and took them to the to the spring. And uh, several months later, the British were amazed to see these six men walk into Charleston completely healed. 
They said, you got, we got to tell us what, how did this happen? So they brought him back and, and showed him the, the healing springs it, in 19, I think it was 1944. It got, it was back. deeded, it was deeded over to God. That whole uh, acre. So uh, there's several little spigots looking things. And they are just, I mean, a, it looks like a spigot that would come out of your house, but it never stops it running. It never stops. There's three and each, each one of them had two, two of them had four. And it just, it's just running. It's ongoing. Uh, um, and people were, and I think sometimes people, I, th I think you might could have bought some at the flea market. Because I saw people with those water bottles and I was like, why would I buy a big Sam's water bottle? But I bet it was Healing Springs water if I'd investigated. Because yeah. there were people backing trucks up, bringing out their jugs and, and filling, filling them up. Filling these jugs fill, full of water. And, and hauling them off. And the yeah. ranger here said she, she does the same thing. Yeah, there is actually here at the park, there is a uh, spring and the ranger said that it has been tested to be the same water as the Healing Springs water. I, so they have a really good aquifer here yeah, in, in Barnwell. It, it, the kids have firmly bought into this, like Claire wrecked her bike and she came and she's like, I'm gonna need some of the Healing Spring water. <laughs> Sam Henry fell in a hole or something. He came in, he was like, my ankle hurts, but I'm gonna rest and drink my Healing Springs water. And he wouldn't take anything. Like he tasted something and he goes, this is regular water. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. It is, it is crystal it clear. It is crystal clear. It, Maybe if you take like the tap and then that you could tell. They, they supposedly it was, it's been tested according to the, the legend. It's been tested and it has a lot of really good minerals. So it does. It's, it's very. It's it's a good tasting water. Pure, yep. A lot so. of minerals. It is very clear. I mean, when you put a clear bottle in there, it's clear. And you fill it up. It's clearer than our tap water at home. I will say, at least on some days. And then uh, we stopped in at kind of a, in, a famous uh, spot in Blackville for lunch. So it's on the historic Miller's, trail. Yep, Miller's Bread Basket. Uh, Mennonite Amish folks that have kind of embraced Southern culture and have a really neat little restaurant. Yeah, and I, in my mind, I did not look it up. So in my mind, I was thinking bread basket. So I was thinking like sandwiches and, and things. And it's not. It's like a meat and three buffet. Yeah, it's, it's a meat and three buffet. Uh, it was fantastic. <laughs> it just... and, and they do have the Amish breads that were there and they had a, a number of different types yeah, like that came with different your, kind. Like comes you with your white or wheat or cheese or like pumpkin or cinnamon or yeah. like ones that you or you could buy a whole loaf to take yeah. home with you. And lots of jams and jellies and other things yeah. there. And, and like a other like a little market, uh, where there's some books and some you know, things for your house. And it's it's a neat place well, downtown. And Blackboard. the fact that they have taken really like three, three buildings, buildings yeah. renovated, brought them up to code, they look great. There actually is a big like behind the like the front frontage part of the store there's actually a big old meeting room and probably 50 yeah. people could have dinner in there so you know these are that's that's what small communities to me are great like that's a great piece yeah, of that small you, community. you can tell blackville is, is has had better days than what's going through now um so it's one of the, it looks like it used to be a railroad town railroad used to come through the middle of it and now that railroad's been removed they made a park in the middle uh, very similar to a lot of small towns in this part of south carolina the other town on the other side, this is named after Barnwell, uh, the town of Barnwell, cute little downtown. So if you come and you want to go explore downtown, they've got a really neat looking courthouse. Yeah, they, and they have this cool like and little, city little, square circle. Yeah, little, little square right there by it. With a park and, and swings. And beautiful and, homes, it's just yeah, really nice, beautiful Beautiful Victorian homes. era and yeah, later. It's, so it's a, again, it's a small town in South Carolina. Um, it's going to look like it's, a lot of other gonna, small towns yes. in South Carolina with things unique to it and things that you're like, oh, okay, that's I've seen that. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, there's like $5 generals within, you know, 200, two miles or whatever. But it's got some, it's got some unions, it's got some cleanness. And ev like I said, everybody we have met yeah. and, and not, and they're not just related necessarily to Barnwell Lake. The ranger is in the park system. She had met us at a Coney. The neighbor down here is from Minnesota. It, it's a, yeah. It was just a good reminder of why we camp. Exactly. Like, the kids and had a great time. We I, relaxed. I, I also want to say, like we said, the neighbors two two sites up are from Minnesota. It's the winter. They're trying to escape the cold. This is a great camp to spend a week or two as a base camp to go explore the southern yeah. part of South Carolina. And we were so, talking about that today. Like, yeah. I mean, you're not, but an hour and some from yeah, if anything. You, if you want to go, if you want to be a base camp here and go to Augusta, go to Savannah, go to Charleston, Hilton Head, Columbia for day trips. Yeah, Columbia might be a little bit of a stretch, but it's not bad. So this could be a great base camp. Especially if you're being in a big city that... Right. So, uh, you know, the, it's a small park. It's a small campground. But they're here for several weeks. And so they're 
they're day tripping and, yeah, and checking so out South Carolina. Don't don't knock it just because it's small and remote and rural. It's a great chance to get away. And it is peaceful. It's just so, so peaceful. Nice. You don't hear the highway traffic. And we hadn't even had um, animals. We left no. our s'more stuff out and <laughs> didn't have raccoons fighting us over. I, I think I heard a possum go by the woods last night. This morning while we were having breakfast, we saw a couple of woodpeckers, some cardinals. We saw a very big blue heron. A blue heron and a um, egret in the pond yesterday. So it's just a great little place to get out and And then in and the summer, the there is there is more activity. There was, you know, boat rentals and pad there was some fishing. Pad you could paddleboard on the water. Um, right now, they had they have do have a, a spillway. That there are some beautiful oh, images of the spillway, um, but they actually had a sinkhole and part of the spillway collapsed. So they've kind of had that the lake lower levels lowered so they could turn that off and, and get into repair. And only out how to repair it. Yeah. Um, she said it only really happened like the end of January, so it hasn't been that long. I think they're probably gonna still having engineers come out and like this was built by the CCC. <laughs> how do we? Fix it, preserve it, take care of it, um, you know, and yeah, when fund you, it. When you think about that, this was built 80 years ago, almost 90 years ago. Yeah, getting closer uh, to 90. Yeah, getting closer to 90 years ago. It's amazing that those spillways have held up as well as they have in the, the brickwork and the buildings. Yeah, there's a couple. Um, there's uh, several picnic shelters. Picnic shelters that I, they're they're stunning. They're they're so well built that 90 years no. later they're still here. And what's, what I think is cool, and, and some of it is because they like started at like the beach and they kind of worked their way. So some of the same men probably did work on some of them, but the, these, we've seen several. Aiken's got one here. I know there's one at the Coney. These brick fireplaces that look like you could just crawl in. I mean, they are out of a movie and they're just gorgeous. And they use the materials that they had. So there's stonework in different places and, and, and you just, you know, are in awe. I'm in awe of that they built these things and they had they didn't have all the things we have now and they worked really hard and it and part of that was so they could send money back to their families at a really hard time so it, I, it i'm always blown away by the ccc structures yep it's all in all um it's Give a small it a it's, a, it's a small park it needs some it needs some help on a few things but maybe but, people camped at it <laughs> yeah but but exactly you know the squeaky wheel gets the grease so if it gets use they'll put that money back into it because we've already seen it. We've seen it at Little PD where they've come in and they fix a road. This road was very similar to what we saw at Little PD and now it's been redone. Uh, so come use these facilities yeah. I mean, and explore and, and get out. Stop waiting to go until you find the perfect spot at yeah. Esto or the perfect spot hunting there's, there's plenty of sites here. Or the here. perfect spot at Calhoun Falls or whatever. Go, just get out and explore and you know what? Maybe go to bed a little earlier. Maybe sit around the campfire. <laughs> a little more often maybe have an extra s'more you know camp at the parks i always i kind of like dance with the one who brung it camp at the parks that are open yeah so, on off get a chance to come check it out uh, we we've had a good weekend and uh, now it's time to head home sadly